This is the most popular and most played of all the pieces in the set. Carter specifies medium-hard timpani sticks, but I like to go a little softer, something like the Vic Firth T3 staccato, to emphasize the contrast between butts and heads of the mallet. I like to flip the sticks in a smooth arced motion that follows the direction that my arms would normally be moving if I didn't have to flip. So I catch the sticks with my arms up in the air, ready to deliver the next stroke or roll. Take care not to vary the pattern of five to accommodate the right hand stroke. Regarding your choice of equipment, you must first have a concept of what you are going for and why. Then use your ears to guide your final choices. One final note on this subject. Experimentation must ultimately be conducted in a concert hall because what works in the acoustics of a practice room or percussion studio will doubtless be very different in the hall where it counts. In the recap, I've changed one of the written left-hand notes to the right hand for musicological reasons. See the errata on this DVD-ROM for details. A cause of concern for many who play this piece is how to mute the drums quickly in the allotted time. I've made some timpani mutes specifically for March that are easily flipped down from the rim. At the end here, I follow the right hand, left hand indications, even though with both hands as butts, it shouldn't make a difference in sound, but perhaps it helps to distinguish the overlapping lines. <laughs>